All right, Mayor Quentin Lucas, uh, you know, this is a tragic time for Kansas City. Yes. It seems that these mass shootings are happening more and more often here. When you compare our city to others, we know Denver, say, mm -hmm. take that for example, it is a city of similar size, yet they haven't had nearly as many shootings as we have in the past year, let alone each of the past 10 years. What's different about Kansas City and why is this problem so common? You know, I, I've said a few times that this is an epidemic, and when you have that, it starts to build upon itself. What we need to do right now is try to intervene in what's happening. That means that folks who engage in this type of gunplay, particularly those who've done it before, need to have real prison sentences. That means we need to make sure we're working with law enforcement to have every resource possible to address these situations. And something I've said a lot of times, we have to be creative in making sure that those 500 people in Kansas City who are shot each year and live are the types of folks that are receiving treatment, social workers, et cetera. So they're not either likely to offend or don't become victims later. Already this year, we've had at least nine homicides. You know, we talk about the numbers, the numbers give context, but these are real people. They have families, they have friends, yeah. and they're sick of hearing the condolences. I mean, what do you say to them? What is gonna change? Um, everything. Uh, ever since I became mayor now about five and a half months ago, we put every issue on the table. We're not just trying to fund some of the same things we've been doing for 30 years. That includes nonprofit groups, law enforcement, etc. cetera. Uh, I think we all agree right now that this is not acceptable in Kansas City. And we're going to make sure, first of all, that we find assailants of all of these crimes. We're working harder to do that with the police clearance rate. We're also gonna make sure that we start younger in our schools to teach conflict resolution. So folks know that you aren't solving these types of incidents uh, with guns and we have too much of that in Kansas City. Frankly, we have too much of it in the region, and so we're going to make sure we work hard to address it, and we're not giving up till we're done. You know, when we talk about this story, you hear from a lot of people who said, this isn't why I go out anymore. This, mm -hmm. is, a, this is what keeps me at home at night now. Mm -hmm. What do you say to the people that see this happening so often and are scared to live their lives here in Kansas City thinking that another shooting could happen? You know, I, I think I would say this, right? Kansas City, in most of our neighborhoods, remains very safe. Um, the tragedy is that we see this happening often at a number of different places, these bars and clubs. Um, and what I would say is we need to make sure we're working with tavern owners on security, but we also need to make sure that we're working to make every neighborhood of Kansas City as safe as our safest one. I think it's fair to say right now that we have a lot of incidents that happen in certain parts of the city. I'm resolved to make sure that no matter where you're watching this broadcast, you can be safe in Kansas the city and so I'd say to folks continue to go out uh, and we'll continue to do the important work we do uh, I've said this time and again there is nothing more important for me than making Kansas City safer long term we will be as creative as possible we'll call the governor we'll call every resor resource we can to make sure we do it mm -hmm. there's obviously a huge spotlight now on Kansas City with the yeah. Chiefs going to the Super Bowl and what's unfortunate is this morning we have national news talking about okay the Chiefs are going but also, this is what happened in Kansas City last night. I mean, it just mars the whole thing. How do we make sure that we can continue to have a positive outlook on Kansas City nationally? Mm -hmm. You know, I think a few things. First, this is an outstanding community. Uh, we are not the only community that ever had a violent crime problem. I'll use the example of New York City, which rarely were compared to, but in the early 1990s, they had about 2,500 homicides per year. They were down to about 250 last year. So that tells me things can change. The same type of change we saw over two decades there is the type of change I'd hope to see even faster here. That's what I would say to someone, and, and I want them to know that we are working hard on that each and every day. We hope not to see this sort of thing, and we hope a day where you get to celebrate a Super Bowl team mm -hmm. is the sort of thing that isn't marred by a tragedy like this one. Yeah, you know, ever since you took office, this is your first term as mayor, but you've talked about the importance of curbing gun violence and dropping our homicide rate. What do you think about it so far since you've been in office? It, it, the numbers haven't been good, no. and, and where do you want to see it by the time you get to your end uh, of service here? You know, I, I think I made this pledge, and I, I stick to it. We need to get under 100 homicides per year, mm -hmm. which in and of itself is a tragedy. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's interesting because with the, the Chiefs win, we're all thinking about things we've been seeing our whole lives. And like I've been watching the Chiefs my whole life, I've also been watching Channel 5 and seeing that at the end of each year, we're pushing 140, 150. Yeah. That was 25 years ago when right. Wendell and Ann were here. I mean, it's the sort of thing that we need to actually resolve ourselves to make sure we change. And so, 
I haven't done enough yet. The chief of police hasn't. The prosecutor hasn't. We're all going to make sure we keep fighting to make that change, and, and we're not giving up till we drop it dramatically in Kansas City, Missouri. And I'd like, as I said before, New York dropped it down to 10 percent of what its total was. Wouldn't that be amazing if we're looking at 15 Incredible. homicides mm -hmm. 20 years from now? Yeah, we can only hope. It's been 50 years since the Chiefs have gone to the Super Bowl. This is obviously a very exciting mm -hmm. time. Yeah. What does this mean for the city? Oh my gosh, everything, right? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, we have all been waiting so long we've been watching we've been on pins and needles <laughs> and I know I was at the game and there was this fear that is there some way this gets yanked right. out from us <laughs> and it didn't and it was just great so you know I think it means a lot of things everybody is in a good mood as they walk around I think you'll see that today lots of people are shopping so go out and spend all that money we need the tax dollars <laughs> um, but more than anything I think it shows how this city can unite uh, my favorite thing when I talk chiefs is that no matter where you're from in our region no matter if you're rich or poor or anything like that, there's this excitement. And that's really what's great about sports. And I'm just proud to be a part of it. Yeah, it's electric when you walk around town and you see it's it all amazing, lit up yeah. in red. It's an amazing feeling. You know, when you think of big events coming into our city, like the NFL yeah. draft, we know that brings business to our city. We know that puts us on the map as a, a great city. But whenever you speak of a team going to the Super Bowl, does that bring more eyes on our city, even though it's not here? You know, it brings so much attention to brand Kansas City. Right. Yeah. And, and it's really exciting to be able to say that we are branded as champions. And, and there's this thing about football, too, because the Super Bowl is still such a highly watched event. And so everybody is going to be talking about Kansas City yeah. for a few weeks. Everybody's going to be talking about these great players that I hope make an impact here for years. And hopefully everybody's giving a little bit of attention to uh, Kansas City. Mm -hmm. I look forward to doing that with my bet with the mayor of San Francisco coming up soon. <laughs> I was going to say, yes. we've got a lot of gifts coming our way. You know, we have news. tons of gifts. <laughs> I we love have it. Texas Mexican food. We've got vegan chicken from Nashville. Who knew? <laughs> right? We've got all of this. So maybe we're getting some wine from Northern California. Hey, Who we'll knows? take it. Yeah, sign me up. I think the city, what they're ready for is a Super Bowl win and also a parade to celebrate yes. this team. Good any time. any talks about a parade? I'll, I'll just say we are always prepared. Uh, Kansas City's <laughs> law enforcement community, our regional law enforcement community, uh, will be all set up. And if you thought we had a fun party a few years ago, <laughs> I imagine it could be even better. Yeah, Chiefs might top the Royals one. Hey, I know. You know, if not colder, but it will still just be great. There we got to say, it's going to happen. Yes. we got to put it out there. We're winning the Super Bowl. You better believe it. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, man. We appreciate so it.